Extra staff will be on hand at a DeKalb County school tomorrow after a snake bit a child on the playground. It happened today at Smoke Rise Elementary. Now we're told that medics took the second grader to the hospital to be checked out. Fox 5's Marissa Mitchell is at our live desk. And Marissa, was the snake venomous? No, according to school officials, and they haven't said what type of snake it was. Still, they are not taking any chances. School officials say they brought in animal control and other crews to evaluate the property. On a playground here at Smoke Rise Elementary School, DeKalb County school officials confirm a snake bit a second grader Tuesday. They started to roam this time of year. A lot of leaves and debris piled up or, you know, pine straw, mulch, anything. They're going to be everywhere, in the grass, laid down, bedded, everywhere. These landscapers at a house across the street from the school say they're used to seeing snakes slithering around. The Georgia Department of Natural Resources say the reptiles are common in North Georgia, including non-venomous ones like this northern pine snake or bull snake. Then there are the six venomous snakes. Experts say the only one you're likely to encounter in Metro Atlanta is the copperhead. They bite me very dangerous. And with temperatures heating up. We have tons of photos being sent to us from people wanting to identify snakes. We have tons of calls coming in to us from people wanting us to come remove snakes. Uh, so we're seeing snakes get into houses, going under houses, and just in people's yards. Jason Clark with the Southeastern Reptile Rescue tells Fox 5 the reptiles are looking for places to keep cool. The more vegetation there is and more bushes and trees around playgrounds, just, that just means the more hiding places. Advice to keep you and your family safe? <laughs> Experts encourage people to eliminate places for snakes to hide. And if you're bitten, seek medical attention immediately. When you encounter a snake, simply leave it alone, and you're not putting yourself at risk for a bite. Now, when it comes to the snake biting the child at the school, district leaders add extra staff will be on site to monitor the playground as a precautionary measure through the end of the school year. A letter was also sent home to parents informing them of the incident. Now, if you would like to learn more expert information on snakes in general in our state, just go to this story on Fox5Atlanta.com. Sine. All right. Appreciate it, Marissa.